Who knew this was going to be possible? So, as you all might know, or might not know, I used a 2012 iMac as my main computer. Not for a challenge, not for a video, just as my main computer from about 2023 up until about 2025 when I upgraded to a 14-inch MacBook Pro M4. But what I used in order to keep my Mac supported, because the latest thing the 2012 can only go up to is Catalina, I upgraded to Sonoma and Sequoia using the Open Core Legacy Patcher. So what I'm going to try to do today is see, using Open Core, can we get this mid-2009 MacBook Pro running macOS Sequoia? Now, I know that sounds impossible, but we are going to try to do it, and I've never done it on a computer this old, so this is going to be new for me. So let's get started. What I have to do is figure out exactly what model the model number of this MacBook Pro is. So you can simply just Google, like, identify your MacBook Pro model. It is... MacBook Pro 5,5. 5. Okay. Okay, so we're opening Disk Utility. Let's format the drive real quick. And then we are going to change this to the model of MacBook we are using. So it will be MacBook Pro 5,5. 5. So we are going to download a macOS installer. Let's do macOS Sequoia here. We're gonna hit download. So it says potential issues, and I was actually going to address this later. But basically, since this is a MacBook Pro 5,5, it has a USB 1.1 host bus for the keyboard and built in mouse. So basically, the problem with that is after Monterey, it doesn't support USB 1.1 at all. So we are going to have to use a USB 1.1 hub and plug an external keyboard and mouse into this in order to use it. Okay, so here we have it, the 2009 MacBook Pro, so let's plug it in. Alright, plugging it in, hit the power, hold alt, and just kind of hope for the best here. Alright, so it does see it, so we're going to hit EFI. There we go. Okay, so now let's use my pre-existing. Alright, so we're in the open core bootloader. You can see we have Macintosh HD, aka my hard drive, and it is running Yosemite. And then you can see here we have install macOS Sequoia. So we're going to do that. Okay, so as you can see, mouse, keyboard, nothing's working. This is where this comes in, so let's plug it in. Okay, that's good. Okay. Seize my mouse. Theoretically, it also sees the keyboard. Um, so let's do install macOS Sequoia. Alright, so it's been sitting here for a minute. I'm gonna give it about five minutes. Okay, with the fact that it took that long just to load the agreement, to like agree to install Mac OS, it, this isn't boding well. So, all right, so we're going to do an interesting experiment because we are installing this on top of the Yosemite partition that's already on here. So we're gonna see what happens with that. Um, if any problems come up, I, I'll try and fix them, but like, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we're back here because that first installation did fail, and I have a feeling it was because of the fact that we tried using the existing install which contained OS X Yosemite. So what I'm going to do is load into Disk Utility, and honestly, I do not want to completely wipe that contains Yosemite, so I'm going to just simply add a partition here and hopefully resize this one. All right, so unfortunately that just failed. So we're just gonna erase the entire drive. All right, back to it. We're gonna hit agree.
Okay, an hour and 10 minutes, so we're gonna wait till that finishes. Okay, so it got to this point literally right as I started videoing. I don't know if it picked it up or not, but it got to this point where it says, an error occurred preparing the software update. Now, this is kind of weird because I don't know really what software it thinks it's updating. Because it's not really updating anything. So I'm just going to say okay. And then hopefully just... Let me see if I go into startup disk and see if anything. Hopefully I'm going to be able to just to restart it. Let me restart and go into the open core. Like installer thing. Okay, so going back into EFI boot. We're going to go into this Mac OS and installer thing that's showing up now. And it seems to be booting up normally, so I'm just going to see what happens here. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened, but it it seems to me like it kind of, like, reset itself or something. Because, like, now it's saying about 29 minutes remaining. Even though earlier, when it got to that error preparing a software update, it said that it was done so I don't know I'm gonna check back hopefully when this is done and by the way I do want to say it is one in the morning so just keep that in mind as we keep going here so yeah we'll be back when this thing finishes okay so the installation has seemed to finish unfortunately it's like about an hour later it is 2 30 in the morning i think i filmed the last clip at like 107 so this took <clears throat> like an hour and a half just to get to this point and we're not even in the operating system it's just starting up again all right so we're finally supposedly in mac os but right now it's kind of just a gray screen, so I don't know really what's up with that. So hold on, I'm gonna see what happens. Seems to have restarted back into this. And now we're back at the gray screen again. I'm not really sure what's happening here. Okay, we're finally at the setup screen. Let's see how this goes. Wow, that is slow. Oh my God, it's beach balling. Just trying to scroll down a menu. Oh my god. The way it's beach balling for me scrolling down the. Thank you. I. I'm okay, voiceover. I've done this a bunch of times. This is like painfully slow for a Mac OS install. It's beach balling and I haven't even gotten past the first part of the setup. Oh my God. All right, so we just finished the setup. It is a new day and we are here. We have not installed root patches yet. So I'm hoping we'll get to that in a second. So we are actually running Mac OS Sequoia. Okay, so it says welcome to Mac. I'm gonna continue here. Keep in mind, spinning a hard drive. I never recommend you run Sequoia like this because it is, it is god awful. Like, <laughs> I now I have to somehow, somehow manage to simply just launch the open core patcher, which Weirdly enough, it's not on here. What up with that? I'm gonna try to just download the open core patcher directly to this and then run it that way. Cause I don't know what's going on. So yeah, give me a second. All right, so I think I fixed it because I did end up putting open core on the drive. So let's try this again. Close. All right, so picking this 
back up again at 2 in the morning on Saturday, or no, Sunday. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice sounds really bad. But um, I'm picking it back up so we can do this real quick. So you can see the open core patcher is loading up. What took forever was it kind of just kept stalling and I've been kind of putting the pro this project down and picking it back up. Now, if I put an SSD and more RAM in this thing, I have a feeling it would work 10 times better. But I'm not doing that just because why not. So now I'm going to do my post install root patches. So the first thing it's going to install is Wi-Fi. It does have Ethernet. So I could try that, although I'm going to try this again one more time. Okay. I'm going to try hooking it up with an Ethernet cable now. So let's see how that goes. Alright, so finally connected directly into the wall over there. The post install root patches are coming up, all of them. The graphics, the networking, the legacy keyboard backlight, and legacy USB 1.1, which is necessary for the keyboard and trackpad, so I won't have to keep using these. So yeah, I'm gonna hit start patching, and hopefully that's gonna go well. But of course, since this MacBook's old and the Ethernet's even older, um, this is going to take a while, so, because it's got to download everything. So, once it's done, and hopefully when it's done, because it is, it is two, not 12.02 a.m., but the date is right, literally enough. Yeah, so once that's done, it is, it is 2.03 am so yeah it's late and i this is the second late third late night that i'm working on this so yeah i'm tired so once this is done i'm gonna edit as much as i can and then get it out so all right so i thought i had it working but unfortunately i've come across kind of what I think is the end of the line now um let me show you I'm starting to genuinely think I have killed this MacBook there we go okay or at least killed the hard drive because you're gonna see if I boot it up earlier I didn't get a picture of it but it was flashing the folder with a question mark which means there's no hard drive to de detected there it is. So it's not seeing the hard drive, or at least it's not detecting an operating system. And I've already spent longer on this video, way longer on this video than I've wanted to, so I'm going to call it quits here. I might pick this up in another video. You can also take a look at Tower Tech Extras for some things that I might do to try and fix this for some troubleshooting, just to... Um, see if I can even revive this computer or at least revive the hard drive That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this saga Comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye Thank God it's over